All right, filming on the Nikon today. Give you a more realistic look. Okay, so on today's video, I'm just gonna film as I start building more of the rear setup. So I just went to Home Depot. There we go. Went to Home Depot. Got some uh, inch screws. Where am I looking? Got some inch screws right there. And uh, went and got two pieces of two by four uh, MDF, half inch thick. Two pieces of it, two feet, four feet. It's actually a little bigger than that when you actually measure it. Uh, so two pieces of that, so that equals out to an actual, does it equal to four by, four by eight? No, it doesn't. I'm not gonna do math right now. Okay, so I'm um, gonna build the back setup and I'll kinda give you an idea and show you. We're in the truck now and I'm gonna start building the, uh, the setup thing, so. Um, basically, I'm just going to show you on this side because it's easier, but wiggling around, get you more focus, that's pretty good. Okay, so, obviously the, the fiberglass tin is going right in the middle, so don't have to worry about that area right now. Um, but how I'm going to do it is I'm going to do one piece, top piece, that goes around the subs. The sub, on both sides, but from here all the way to here. So there's going to be a piece there. I'm going to build like a little section in here. And then uh, after I get those start going, there's going to be a piece that is angled that goes from the edge of this to the edge of this. So uh, I'm just going to start drawing it out, doing it, and just show you. All right, measure the, the pieces out that are going to go around and over the subs. So I got both pieces, one and two. And now I got to get the router out and I'm going to carefully measure and get the hole cut out for it to go around the sub. All right, measuring. And uh, I need a nine inch circle. So uh, I figured out where I needed the, where the center to be, right here. And it's going to be a nine inch circle. So I have to put on my router a uh, four and a half inches on my circle jig I made and uh, that should fit perfect All right, here it is just got it uh, cut out real nice um, and what I've learned over doing the uh, doing a circle circle template um, Take note of this if you haven't heard this before Don't try to do deep passes. That's what leads to really bumpy and effed up circles as long as you do Shallow pass after shallow pass after. Sh I did about five passes, and it makes it real smooth. There's a little, little some, there were some small areas that didn't get hit quite well, so I just put on the uh, the flush trim bit, and that uh, cleaned it up real nice. I'm gonna show you how it's looking in the truck. It fits real nice. Check this out. Look at this. Look at how good this fits. It goes right up to the. Uh, it's just a little bit of wiggle room. I know it's sideways. I'm gonna have to make a. Uh, see there it is before. Okay, and after. I think that looks real good. Um, but I'm gonna have to uh, make a template because I'm gonna have to notch out a small place for the speaker to go around. But uh, that's what, that's how good it fits. And I'm gonna do the other one and continue from there. All right, after several cardboard templates, um, it's not super perfect, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the fit. Um, so here's the passenger side. Okay, so that's how that fits. And it's notched out for the speaker. And this side, once everything's coming together, and this, needs, this guy doesn't stay, but obviously once everything's put together, notched out. I think it looks pretty good. The setup should, well, yeah. So, now what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna try to, I think I'm gonna do kind of like a box. Cause I want to make this like a little storage area um, or something like that. So working on that next. All right, a little more progress. Um, making the two boxes to go on each side and also it holds up to the, uh, the platform. So this one's kind of weird cause I still got some, just some airline going through my truck. So I had to make it sure that I, this box can slip over it. So it's got, areas for the, the airline to slip through for the time being 
Uh, it's Nasha here for the speaker. So that's going to be the driver's box, and then I got the other pieces to make for the passenger box. So I want to put those together, and I'll show you those afterwards. Okay, so got the boxes screwed together. Um, I'm going to try to uh, figure out how I want to keep them in place. But they're in. Obviously, they're not perfect, but I need to uh, figure out how to keep them in place, and then that will help straighten them out. But I'm thinking the idea is to have a, a like a lid, not a lid, uh, I don't know, an opening, and that way I can store stuff in the boxes, put stuff in there. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do there. But I think it's coming out pretty good. Okay, so hope you get a better idea. I'll go through it again. Fiberglass 10, <laughs> two weights. Okay, now I've got that flat platform going. And then to finish it all off, there's going to be a piece that goes from this edge to this edge up here. This is the whole piece that goes just like that. So I'm going to keep building and just let you see as I go. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. Um, I'm just going to call this a, a stopping point for the time being. Um, it looks the same like you just seen. All I did was uh, took the boxes, made some uh, pieces in the corner to hold these from moving. So I think I'm going to call that for a day. I'm not going to try to rush anything. Um, but that's what it's looking like. Need to figure out how I'm going to hold these top plates in place and how, if I do the, uh, the lid, how I'm going to do that. And obviously to, to cover everything up and to hold the amps, I need to make a piece that goes to there. So, uh, I'm going to call that a day. Um, thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thanks for all my new subscribers once again. And uh, be working on this probably next week. So I'll see you guys next week. Peace.